<laughs> this is factor number what? Fact pro thrombin. Pro thrombin. If it is sleeping, it is pro. Right? Pro stands for pro thrombin. It is sitting there comfortably. No problem. But this naughty factor number 10 is activated now. It is interested to do something there. Right? And of course, in the presence of in the presence of in the presence of factor number five and of course what is this phospholipid and of course calcium should be arranged to is that right now this will activate what prothrombin and when it become activated we say what is it now thrombin and something very unexpected occur <laughs> it become activated <laughs> What is this? What is this now? Thrombin, activated thrombin. Now what it is doing? It is going to take innocent fibrogen and fragment it down. Right? What is this? Fibrinogen. Renogen. And release its fragments. And these fragments will fall over all of them. Right? And fibrin monomers will be there. Right? And here it is very important to understand the calcium can only bind if these coagulation factors are gamma carboxylated at glutamic acid residues. Is that right? Because later on you will study that warfarin is a drug which does not allow the gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid residues during the synthesis of coagulation factors. And if you warfarinize the patient, if you give the patient warfarin, patient has the coagulation factors but they cannot interact with calcium. Such coagulation factor cannot work in stimulatory cascade of coagulation system. Is that right? Any question up to this? There is no question for sure. Now, if I ask you, what is the meaning of hemostasis? Hemostasis means that how bleeding can be stop stopped after injury. Hemostatic process has multiple steps. Step number one is vasoconstriction. Step number two is temporary pl platelet plug formation or which is also called primary platelet plug or which is also called primary hemostatic plug. Then once the platelet plug is formed over that coagulation process may deposit the fibrin strand network and then primary plug with the coagulation and fibrin fibrin network now primary plug is converted into secondary plug is that right and in the blood a big secondary plug is called thrombus is that right and outside the blood platelet plug with coagulation is called clot now listen if i say there is only coagulation it means only coagulation factors interact with each other and make fibrin coagulum coagulation mean fibrin coagulum but if I say there is thrombus, it means platelet plug plus coagulation is within the circulatory system, right? If I say there is clot, then it means platelet plug with coagulation is outside the circulatory system. Is that clear to everyone? No problem? For sure? Any question? I have a question. Um, after the, the vessel is repaired, how the thrombus is inside of the vessel? Yeah. So, how the thrombus is degenerated? Like okay, now he has an interesting question. It's a really good question. He says once the thrombus is formed, right? Or, okay, we talk about platelet plug is formed, bleeding is stopped, right? Of course, then what will happen? That platelet-derived growth factors will come out and some smooth muscle will proliferate here. Some fibroblasts will come here, lay down the collagen. This is becoming healthy. What really happens to this plug? First of all, we have to answer a question, why this plug and coagulation pr process does not spread all over the circulatory system? Answer is already there. That I told you that out of the injury area, right, for example, blood is moving from that side up to this direction, right? If blood flow is in this direction, here is the healthy endothelium. You remember healthy endothelium, even if some platelet dislodge from there and come, they will repel them. 
Secondly, if the activated fibrin monomer come, you remember plasminogen tissue, plasminogen activator is coming and converting plasminogen into plasmin which cut down the fibrin strand. Even if some thrombin come here, thrombomodulin will be utilized to bind the thrombin which will activate protein C and S and which will break down activated factor 5 and 8. Then if some uh, you can say uh, here is uh, heparin sulfate, right, that will also bind a special protein antithrombin 3 and any activated factor number 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 coming to this area, cutter, 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 broken down. In this way, healthy endothelial side or healthy part of the circulatory system prevent the undue spread of coagulation process. Now I come to answer your question. That you said a plug is formed here, what is the future of the plug? The dangerous future of the plug is that blood flow dislodge it and it start moving into blood. Then it convert into embolus. Then it convert into embolus. It's a pathology. It's not a good news. What is embolus? It is thromboembolus because thrombus has been converted into embolus. Embolus is thromboembolus is a piece of thrombus moving into blood, going the downstream, eventually blocking a small vessel and may damage the tissue. Clear? This is one thing that it may embolize. Other thing is that tissue plasminogen activators are activated. Tissue plasminogen activators are produced too much. Too much plasminogen is converted into plasmin and plasmin start cutting down all the fibrin and platelet disintegrate and plug disappears. That is called dissolution of the thrombus or platelet plug. So either it become embolus which is bad or it become dissolved with the time and which is good or lot of fibroblasts come into it and laid on the collagen and that is a sort of permanent grave of that thrombus. Right? There is a collagen. We say organization of the thrombus. So thrombus or platelet plug may undergo embolization, may undergo dissolution, may undergo organization. Is that right? Any more question? Or sometime a thrombus is formed such a big that whole what happened? Whole blood vessel is occluded. Is that right? It's a beautiful concept. Look, sometimes injury is too much and thrombus formed all over and it, oh my god, there's a drawing room there of the naughty people. Now, so thrombus is totally blocking it. What is the future now? Actually, under these circumstances, these endothelial cells grow under the influence of growth factor and from this side, also endothelial cell glow, grow over it. Are you understanding it? So this, this surface is endotheliaized and because a lot of growth factors produced by disintegrating platelets. So those growth factors will stimulate these endothelial cells, they will further proliferate these endothelial cells and start growing from both sides into the deeper layers of thrombus. You are understanding it? So solid endothelial cells grow from both sides and make interconnections. Why it is happening? Because a lot of platelets are buried there and they are releasing platelet derived growth factors. So platelet derived growth factor not only proliferate the smooth muscle here, not only activate the fibroblast here to seal this point. Even if it is occlusive thrombus, occlusive thrombus mean? thrombus which occlude it totally, occlusive thrombus, after endothelialization, endothelial cords move in, they meet each other, then central endothelial cell undergo disintegration and you have developed a new vessel within the thrombus and blood may start flowing again through that area and this is called recanalization and then with the time it start enlarging and thrombus is pushed on the side and recanalization occur. So what may happen to a thrombus? It may disintegrate or disintegrate and dissolve or it may embolize or it may get organized with fibrous tissue or it may get recanalized. Am I clear to everyone? Class dismissed.